My name is Gustav, and I will present the work Wiener Guided Deep Image Prior for Unsupervised Blind Image Deconvolution. Blur occurs in many scenarios, such as natural images, microscopy, astronomy. To the right, you see an example of blur and the corresponding blur kernel. Blur generation can be formalized as a sharp image that is convolved with a kernel plus noise, and this is equal to the blur image. In general, we only have the blur image, and thus we need to know what the sharp image and the kernel were. A general optimization process for this would be to have a data fitting term where our estimate of the sharp image is convolved with the kernel, and we see how close this is to the blurred image we have. Plus, because this is an ill post problem, we have an image prior and a kernel prior. Recently, it has been proposed to use implicit priors instead of explicit priors. More specifically, it is proposed to use a convolutional network whose architecture is designed in such a way that it favors reconstructing low frequencies uh, compared to high frequencies. This is referred to as DIP, and it has been successful in removing high frequency artifacts such as noise before. Below, we see that with the implicit prior, we only have the data fitting term. However, the problem with the DIP is that it does not favor reconstructing sharp images over blurry images. To the figure, to the right, we see the image that in the top row to the left, we see the image that DIP is asked to reconstruct, which is the blurry image. To the right, we see that it reconstructs a blurry image as well. However, what if we deconvolve the blurry image with a kernel estimate that we have? This kernel estimate does not have to be perfect. But we see in the bottom left row that the image does look sharper, however it also has high frequency artifacts. If we ask DIP to reconstruct this image, we see in the bottom right corner that it does reconstruct the image and it has sharp edges, however the high frequency artifacts are suppressed. Thus, this is a useful guidance for blind image deconvolution. Thus, we propose to extend the data fitting term of implicit priors by having an image guidance and a kernel guidance. The image guidance is based on the deconvolved image. And the kernel guidance is based on an auxiliary kernel. Because in the initial stages, the output of the kernel generator will be random because the network's initialized randomly, we propose to use a kernelization that is based on the power spectral density of the image. We also use this kernel initialization for the Wiener deconvolution. To the right, we see how our method performs in optimization and that it's more stable. At the top, we see the blur image that we want to deconvolve or that we want to get the sharp image estimate of. And in the left column, we see what happens if the dip does not have any guidance. And we see that it re reconstructs an image with a lot of artifacts. However, in the middle column, we see that with guidance, we get a good sharp image estimate. And to the right, we see what our guidance looked like. To conclude, blur is a common problem in many domains. Using a deconvolved image as guidance exploits the property of dip and can be very useful for blind image deconvolution. Lastly, image and kernel guidance improves the optimization. Thank you very much for your attention.